Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum. My name is Asan, and today we are going to assign different custom font for different languages in Polylang WordPress. Before starting work, it's my request please subscribe my channel. Thank you. Now back to our work. So we will upload font and use for different languages. First, open wp-config.php file in your hosting. So file is open now. You see define allow unfiltered upload true. So add this code in your wp-config.php file and you will find this code in video description or in comment section. By default, WordPress don't allow to upload unfiltered files. That's why we added this code in wp-config.php file. Now go to WordPress dashboard again. So we are in media library. Now refresh the page. Now click on add new and upload font from your system. So you can select font according to your requirement. So this is our font. So select and click on open. Now font uploading. Now you see font uploading done. Now open customize section. On left side you see appearance and then you see customizer. So open it. Then on left side you see languages, polylang. So open it also. Now we are going to upload one more font. So click on select file. So this is our font. So select and open. Now uploading. Now you see we have to custom font upload in media library. Now we are going to use this. So go to customize section. So click on it. And then you see additional CSS. So again click on it. Now we are going to add CSS here. Now paste CSS here. Now you see font face and then you see font family and this is font family name. So you can add name according to your requirement. Now you see my first font and you can add fonts URL here. Now go to media library again. So click on it and then this is font. So again click on it and now you see URL. So copy this and go to customize section again and paste here in URL section. Now you see URL added. And we assign font family name my first font to this URL. Now copy this code again and paste here. And you will find all code in video description or in comment section. Now you see font family again. So name it my second font. And then go to media library and open this font and copy URL and paste the URL section here. Now we added both custom font through CSS. Now go to web page and you see H2 title and paragraph some text here and we are in EN section. We have TR and DE also three languages we are using in website. Now go to customize section again. Now paste code here and now you see H2 and then you see colon and this is language. And now you see bracket and en and then we use font family. Now go to languages section again in polylang. Now you see code de, en and tr. So we are using this code. Now back to customize section. Now you see font family my first font and we use in font family name here. Now you see h2 language en we use from here en code. And then you see my first font we use here. Now we will use this code for TR and DE language. Now copy this and paste like this. And then EN change to TR and then EN change to DE. So we have three languages and we have two font family. Now you see this my first font and my second font. Now copy this and paste here. So we are using my first font in EN and D language and my second font in TR language. Now click on publish. Now publish done and go to web page. So we are in EN and refresh the page. Now you see font families change here. So we are using this font family my first font on EN and DE. Now you see title font change and now go to TR. Now you see here font family also change for TR and go to D. Here you see font family also change. Now go to customize section again. 
so this is format and you will find all code in video description or in comment section now again copy this and paste here now you see h2 so replace with body and then click on publish now publish done and go to web page in de and refresh the page now you see all font is changed on de pages now go to en section here font is not changed now go to customize section again so you can add your class or id here so you can use paragraph ul li h1 h2 h3 and then colon and then language and then bracket and in bracket you can use code from languages here now you see de e and tr and then click on publish so in this way you can assign different custom font for different languages in polylang wordpress and you will find all code in video description or in comment section. I hope you like this video. Please like, comment, share, subscribe. Thank you for watching.